Hi, how are y'all? I'm Dr. M. Kamakshaya. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to get PSPP into Windows machine and install. Uh, later, I'll show you how to open the software and use it for different types of analysis. Okay. So, in order to get the PSPP, just open the browser and search for PSPP download. And um, the very first link should be the best link for our requirements. And if you go into this, this will eventually leads to a particular portal called Nude.org. So there's a lot of history. I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, it's a wonderful place for all open source and free software um, and other applications. Uh, so here down, when you scroll down, there must be a particular section called Windows. So we just have to press this link, uh, Windows installers for nightly something else. Okay, I, you just go down because this is the latest version. Um, so obviously 2.0.0 should be older than 2.0.1, something like that. And you can also check, cross check uh, April, May. So May comes later, after April. So open this folder. Now you will find two different executive files executable files 64-bit debug install no we don't want that and you have to press on this psbp 64-bit install.exe i have downloaded it already so i'm going to open this uh, see it is here in my folder so you just right click and then run as administrator or whatever it is the method that is applicable in your machine in my machine i always uh, so it is already work in progress because i already uh, opened and closed it. That's why that error message has, had come in my machine. So press next and then you should go to the program files PSVP something like that. By the way, if you don't know what is PSVP, just to go online. It is actually a clone of SPSS. It is not as sophisticated as SPSS because SPSS is a, a software which is uh, bundled and sold by a commercial organization called IBM and PSVP is open source software. It is just a clone of SPSS, uh, both in syntax as well as uh, graphic user interface. So we are going to talk about how to use PSVP for different analysis in my forthcoming videos. In this video, I'm just going to open it and show you how does that look like. And I may give you a walk down, walk you down through the different menus. Of, so when you finish your installation there will be an icon on your desktop just to open that icon it is better to restart the machine instead of opening the because most of the time um, so i don't want the tips so this is how it opens it first okay very small window just to maximize it don't don't get worried uh, so as i said it is a clone of spss why because you got so many things here like you know which resembles like spss the first file menu must be the file menu where you just uh, you, know, you can open syntax it's exactly like the syntax of uh, all the commands of spss should work in PSPP. so i'm giving you that assurance and i'm not going to talk about the syntax maybe i'll do a, a series of uh, demonstrations on how to use syntax for data analysis both in spss and PSPP. but i don't use spss i only use PSPP because i'm an open source software evangelist now this is actually uh, a particular view called variable view. I am going to take you to the data view. So left bottom corner, you are going to have the two different views. Just like in SPSS, you have two views. Same views are available from PSPP. So there is data view and variable view. And if you go to the menus, you have sh sh shortcut. Shortcuts for different activities like you, know, you can just uh, press this icon in order to open the file. And uh, you have so many other like Mm, maybe save this is save and etc etc so we will discuss about all these icons later and you don't need to give much attention to these icons you better go to the menus in file menu you have new syntax data something like that and you can open file you can import data usually we will be importing the data you can also by the way you can also import all the data formats used in SPSS. In case if you have done some analysis in SPSS and shaved it, saved it in uh, SPSS format like SPAV, SP, 
there are different weird formats in a PSPSS. So you can open all those data formats here. You can save your files, save as, rename, data set, something like that. Now when you go to the edit, insert variable, so these are all same sort of things that we do in uh, PSPSS. And the most important thing should be the transform, which you, if you are watching this video, I'm sure you should be knowing about uh, SPSS. Even if you don't know, it doesn't matter. In SPSS too, we have something called compute. So here, you have a number of uh, functions uh, in order to simulate or generate random data variables and also carry on with a few statistical uh, functions uh, for uh, pretty small calculations. Like I will show you, uh, for, if you would like to know something about you know normal distribution. See here you have beta distribution, binomial distribution, and Cauchy distribution, chi-square distribution, exponential, f, gamma, geo, you know, everything like you know, pretty decent needs of statistical analysis. And then you got something called uh, count rank cases these are all we use for different requirements during statistical analysis which i'm not going to talk right now and most importantly i think these two sub menus should be very familiar to anybody who ever have used spss earlier that is record into same variable record into different variable we'll come to this place later when when we are performing the statistical analysis and the other very important menu should be analyze so here in SPSS, so don't compare the PSPP with SPSS. This is a community-based open source software. SPSS is a commercial software where you need to shell out a few bucks of money. Not cheap, it's very costly. So descriptive statistics, you have frequencies, descriptives, explore and cross tabs. So this is my favorite submenu cross tabs. I'll take you here later after shortly, some, after some time shortly. And then you got the tables, compare means, and here we'll be doing single univariate t-test, bivariate t-test, something like that. And you have univariate analysis where we take a call on dependent variable, fixed factors. We'll discuss all these things later when we uh, come to the point of statistical analysis. And you have k-means cluster analysis. By the way, you don't have the hierarchical cluster analysis. We use other software such as R by found and and many other, there are beautiful others afterwards like JAS, Jamovi. And there is factor analysis, this is EFA. And then reliability analysis, regression, you got linear, and then uh, binary logistic regression, non parametric statistics, you have almost all sorts of, uh, most of the, most, uh, most of these are statistical tests. And uh, I mean, apart from these submenus, we can do few many, few more statistical test, tests using syntax. So which are not there in GUI. And then ROC curve, and then you've got the graphs like scatter plot, histogram, bar chart, something like that, and etc. etc. So this is actually the pretty decent introduction to PSPP. In my next video, I should I shall talk about uh, data import and export. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the new content. Bye bye for now.